Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video lecture series, I am going to explain the third and the most advanced domain of image analysis, that is pattern recognition. This portion of image analysis is so vast that it is dealt specially under the name of object recognition and encompass a plethora of techniques. To limit my discussion, I am going to discuss only two ways to implement object recognition and that too at a shallow level. Statistical pattern recognition would be introduced and explained in this lecture, whereas convolutional neural networks in the next. In the quest for recognizing objects in the image, the last step after object isolation module and feature extraction module is the classification module. This segment will take feature vector as input and try to generate classes or boundaries in the feature space that will differentiate between all type of objects that may appear in the input image. I'll proceed with an example in which we wish to separate nuts, washers and bolts. To achieve this recognition task, we need features that will allow us to separate the three kind of objects. One possible feature may be circularity that will have higher values for washers, a bit lower for nuts and considerably lower values for bolts. Another feature that we may use is of maximum dimension of the object, which will be large for bolts, quite lower for washers, and even lower for nuts. The first step of classification module is to formulate a feature space and perform training, if we are performing supervised learning. For training our system, we will require a large number of objects of each type and ask feature extraction module to extract the decided features from all objects and place the objects based on their feature values in the feature space. So, nuts having smallest maximum dimension and a little less circularity value than the washers will be placed over here. While washers having highest circularity and mediocre maximum dimension value will be placed in this region, And bolts with lowest circularity but highest maximum dimension will be placed somewhere in this region. Once we have generated a populated feature space, we are ready for classification of an unknown object. Now suppose an unknown object is encountered in the input image. We will generate its feature vector and place it on the same feature space that we have generated during our training phase. As per the extracted feature value, this object appears somewhere over here. Now the real task of classification module begins. We started with the aim of identifying nuts, washers and bolts. So to which class this unknown object belongs? There are a number of ways to answer this question. But as you might be thinking, the answer is quite straightforward over here. That is, the classifier will label the unknown object as the object nearest to it. So we are simply going to calculate the distance of this unknown object from the center of three clusters and the label of the cluster having smallest distance from the unknown object shall be used to label the unknown object. In this example, it's quite trivial to see that the unknown object will be classified as a nut because the cluster that is nearest to the unknown object is of nuts. This type of classifier is called nearest neighbor classifier, abbreviated as NN classifier. A modification of this type of classifier is called KNN classifier in which instead of just figuring out the nearest cluster, we look for k number of objects that are nearest to the unknown object. Out of these k objects, the class that is appearing the most is used to label the unknown object. Let's suppose the feature space looks something like this. In this feature space, B 
P represents bolts, W represents washers, where N represents all the nuts. Let's suppose the unknown object is somewhere present over here. Now we will calculate the distance of the unknown object from all the objects present in the feature space. And let k equals to 10, then we will look for 10 objects having smallest distance from the unknown object. Suppose that these four nuts, these five washers, and this bolt ends up as 10 nearest objects. Then as per the majority, the unknown object will be classified as a washer. This simple methodology explains the application and the proceedings used for nearest neighbor or k nearest neighbor classifier.